glad you could make it. What are you even supposed to be? Well, I'm supposed to be Tinkerbell, but the dress didn't really agree with the green screen. I'm sure you would understand. Good morning, Owen J. Roberts. As you can see, I am Haley Stock, and as you can't see, this is Sam Pickford. I'm here in spirit. Haley, have you ever wondered where bottle caps end up? Not really. Well, I know now. Anchor Club begins their bottle cap collection once again. Students, as you recycle your bottles, please place the bottle caps in bags located in your classrooms. A station will be in the mailroom for teachers to dump the full bags. Anchor Club is only 180 pounds away from creating a bench out of these bottle caps. Please donate as every bottle cap helps. Speaking of recycling, did you know that your old dried up whiteboard markers can be turned into diesel fuel? Last June, Girl Scout Troop 41058 collected 19 pounds of old dried out markers while working with Crayola's Color Cycle. After being shipped off to Crayola's Color Cycle, it was turned into 95 gallons of diesel fuel. Give your markers to your teachers, who will then place the markers into the bin, which is located in the faculty dining room. Don't fill up a landfill when you can fill up a car. For more information, you can email Emma, Gubin Emma Gubinich at 22egubinich at ojrsd.net. Haley and I are obviously ready for Halloween, and apparently so is Snapchat. This week, we sent Emily Ratchford out to find how teachers feel about the spooky new Snapchat filters. Good morning, O.J. Roberts. I'm Emily Ratchford, and today I'm here to get teachers' reactions to the new Snapchat filters. Let's get started. Oh, this is a good one. Oh! Oh my god, it's scary! <laughs> this is, oh. All right, that's a little disturbing. I gotta admit, rainbows out of your mouth is disturbing. That's not good. So is it gonna make me look like, look like that devil? Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. I don't want to do that one. Oh, God. Wait a second. My kids are going to say I'm actually like that. <laughs> this is crazy stuff. I will go with super evil face. Sounds good. Holy Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's pretty accurate, actually. I don't see a change. Did you distort that, or is that actually me? <laughs> ah! That's more pleasant than I've ever been. That's that's way too happy for me. That's neat. That's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> that's so. This is what technology is used for. All modern technology is now being used just to make rainbows come out of people's mouths. Well, I think everyone enjoyed that. Have a happy Halloween, OJR. Thanks, Emily. Turning our attention to sports, congratulations to Maddie Sager for placing second in the PIAA golf tournament held Monday and Tuesday at Heritage Hills Golf Course in New York. Maddie shot a four over 76 to claim second place. Congratulations on this great accomplishment. Thinking about what you are going to do for breakfast tomorrow morning? A piece of toast, some soggy cornflakes in your future? The Wildcat Wrestling Club is something better for you to graze on. The club will be hosting an all-you-can-eat pancakes and sausage breakfast at Applebee's in Pottstown from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday, October 31st. $7 for adults and $4 for kids 12 and under. Hope to see you there. I bet you're all super excited to put on your costume tomorrow night, but before you get suited up, it would be a good idea to check out the forecast. Let's go to Sam Fisher on his triumphant return to the weather report. <laughs> Good morning, Owen J. Roberts. My name is Sam Fish, and I'm back for the new and improved weather report. We got some complaints we didn't have enough charts. Look at this chart. It's a great chart. We also got complaints we didn't have maps. Look at, you want maps? Look at this map. And you know what? Nothing's happening. There's a 20% chance of rain on Sunday. That doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Nobody cares. Saturday, though, Saturday is what's important. It's just going to be a bit chilly out. So remember to put some warm clothing on underneath of your costume Saturday night. So, OJR, 
have a spooky week. Ah, oh, Jesus. Thanks, Sam, but you forgot something. Daylight savings time ends 2 a.m. Sunday, November 1st, which means you will need to turn your clocks back an hour before you go to bed Saturday night, October 31st. The annual tradition signals the official start of shorter days. Oh, I am emerging. Screwed up. I Screwed up. Going. No. <laughs> we can't do that part. We just can't because I've got the tie on. Uh, we got to do it again. Happy Halloween, OJR. <laughs> we, we just can't do that. 